Who is Saint Cyril of Jerusalem? Saint Cyril of Jerusalem, a distinguished bishop and theologian of the early Christian Church, was born in Jerusalem around the year 313. His feast day is March 18. He was ordained a priest and later appointed Bishop of Jerusalem in the year 350, where he gained recognition for his catechetical lectures, a series of 23 lectures designed to teach new converts about Christianity, which are still considered one of the most influential works of early Christian catechesis. Despite facing challenges such as being exiled for 16 years by emperors influenced by the Arian Bishop of Caesarea, Cyril defended the orthodox position on the nature of Christ as fully divine and fully human. He played a significant role in the Council of Constantinople in 381, where the Nicene Creed was formulated and affirmed the orthodox position. It was during the Council of Nicaea that the term, consubstantial, was first used in the Nicene Creed to describe the relationship between the Father and the Son. Saint Cyril later employed the term in his own theological writings, and it became widely used in the Church as a way of expressing the understanding of the nature of Christ. Cyril's leadership and orthodoxy were scrutinized by the Council of Antioch, which sent Saint Gregory of Nyssa to investigate him and his diocese. Gregory reported that Jerusalem was plagued with factionalism and Arianism, but that Cyril was faithful to the orthodox doctrine. In 1882, Pope Leo XIII recognized his significant theological contributions by naming him a doctor of the church. Saint Cyril was a strong defender of the orthodox position on the nature of Christ, even when it was unpopular and put him at odds with others. We can learn from his example that it is essential to stand up for what we believe in, even when it is difficult. Despite being unjustly accused and exiled, Saint Cyril was able to forgive those who wronged him and continue his work as a bishop and theologian. His example shows us that forgiveness is a powerful tool that can help us overcome difficult situations and move forward in our lives. Saint Cyril was a renowned theologian, but he remained humble and open to feedback, as demonstrated by the Council of Antioch's investigation into his leadership. This shows that humility is an essential quality to have, even when we are knowledgeable or successful. Saint Cyril is the patron saint of many causes, including catechists, theologians, and students. Saint Cyril, teach us the power of humility and forgiveness, and pray for us.